using focus groups. And what they had to do was to simplify this for healthcare because we don't have the time to do focus groups all the time. So what happened was they pulled some of the liberating structures into the first research pro project and then including our national one. And the website that they're from, Keith McCandless and Ari Litmanowitz, um, have all the 33 of them on there with complete instructions of how to do them, what's your setup, tips and tricks, um, everything to just jump in and use them. The actual big 80-odd um, page report came out from the uh, Canadian National Research Project. I've shortened the website or the, the link to it up there. It's called Frontline Ownership, uh, Generating a Cure Mindset for Patient Safety. If you Google it, there are shortened versions, so the nutshell versions, but it is an amazing read, and they actually calling it FLO. So that's what we're starting to hear instead of positive deviance is FLO. Resources up there, these are all my Bibles. Um, the first three, Biology of Belief, I really recommend you read it. Um, Edgeware is another one that has come out from um, the Plexus Institute team. This is all about complexity in healthcare um, and how we need to start uh, uh, seeing complexity theory and science around um, our application to healthcare. Um, so that's another really good read, and it also talks in its own way about some of the liberating structures there. Orbiting the Giant Hairball is a book by Gordon McKenzie. He comes from um, Hallmark Cards, but it's his way of sharing how that organizations can become this giant hairball, which is basically your culture, how does it get there, and how to get out of it or stay out of it. It's a really good read and a great story. Two books out around positive deviance, there may be more, but these are two that um, came out from um, uh, Jerry and Monique Sternen and Pascal, uh, the, 